Similar to capacitors, inductors have parasitic effects as well, which influence their behavior at high frequencies. In this video we will explain how the parasitic effects of an inductor can be modeled as an equivalent circuit. An inductor is a coil which means an electrically conductive wire that has been wound usually around an iron core. Its inductance depends on the material of the core and on the geometry. The most dominant factor is the number of windings since the inductance increases quadratically with it. In general, an inductor has an equivalent series resistance similar to a real capacitor. The conducting wire is modeled as a serial resistance which resembles the copper losses and is called RCU. If the frequency increases, the resistance changes. These additional losses occur because of magnetic losses and eddy current losses, such as the proximity effect and the skin effect. These frequency-dependent losses are called iron losses and are modeled with a parallel resistance RFE. This is not a perfect modeling, but it's good enough for now. There is also a capacitive coupling between every winding of the inductor, as we have an electrical inductor with an isolation in between, which is a capacitance. The capacitive coupling between the parallel windings can be modeled as one single parallel capacitance. As a result, we can see that the inductor's impedance changes over frequency. In the higher frequency range, the inductor starts to work as a capacitor. The phase shift of voltage and current at higher frequencies will therefore never be the ideal 90 degrees. Among many others, these simple effects make filter design for wide frequency ranges very difficult and demonstrate that the parasitic effects can no longer be neglected, same as for the real capacitor.